All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. I'm sitting over here in the, well, I guess you call this my freedom yard. In any case, I forgot to put a hat on before I did this, but uh, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Johnny B, Guns and Gadgets, and all the guys out there in the western part of North Carolina making a difference. Uh, it's amazing how people think FEMA is out there really doing it up, but I would rely on my fellow brothers way before I rely on the government. All right, so what are we doing here today? We are looking at this guy right here. In this box is one of the coolest things that I've ever seen. You want a flamethrower? Well, this is what we call a flamethrower. This is not one of those propane bottle things. It's a torch, but this is actually a real, honest to goodness, flamethrower. It's not one of those backpack deals you're gonna see in the military strength, <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, for the money, this is going to be one of the coolest things that you will ever see. Now, I am in my backyard. It's hard to do a test on something like this without people freaking out. I got a dog sitting over there. He's really wanting to come out here. But over here on my left-hand side, I have a little target. We're gonna call that Randy. He's a little lighter than Randy that we used to be working with, if you know what I mean. But uh, from the little clamshell or the oyster shell right in front of me, that is 30 feet. So what are we doing? We're gonna take a look at this thing. And I do have a camera up above. I hope it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. It took me a while to get this whole thing set up. I really wanted to do this product justice. This is something really cool. Uh, and uh, it was introduced to me by a good friend over at their Villain Supply, okay? So what is this? Let's take a look in here. The item sealed inside is the FTG NAR23 Tactical Flamethrower. Also provided a super battery, operations manual, and a super LiPo charger. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we got in the box. Now, I'll tell you what, uh, as boxes goes, this is probably one of the coolest boxes I've ever seen. So let's see here. We have the flamethrower itself. Now, I've done a couple little short videos on these things on Instagram. Man, I'll tell you what, something like this is a novelty, but it's one of those cool things. If you got the money to spare, this is one of those things you just whip it out at the party. <laughs> so in the box, let's take a look at this. You have the FTG NAR23 Super Charger. So let's take a look at this. Now, yeah, I have opened up all these things because, well, you gotta charge it up in order to make it work, right? Uh, little cable here, this is a really neat, you've got light indicator lights here when it's a full green. Uh, that means your battery is charged. Now, it does come with a single battery, but you can purchase, I got two batteries on the, uh, Amazon for $29. These are typical to your, uh, let's see, uh, the uh, remote control airplanes, remote control cars, things like that. So right here, this is it right here, okay. Um, also is, well, let's just go, let's just go ahead and pull this thing out real quickly, because uh, manuals are manuals. It's just gonna tell you, don't do this at home. That kind of thing. We're gonna take the battery. We'll go ahead and put the box away with the charger because we really don't need that. We'll go ahead and put it like that because that's how it sits. So what's really cool about this thing is it does, it's aluminum and ABS plastic all the way around. You can custom paint it. You can do whatever you want from front to rear. We have what is the electrodes. Okay, this little guy right here so it reminds me of, well, a uh, you know zapper, body zapper. And I'm sure that if you were zapped by it, you're probably gonna get hurt. Now I think that's why they got the prongs up here so you don't accidentally put your hand, arm, or whatever in. Inside, you can see it's all metal. Now, do I know exactly what's in this? No, but I will tell you this is it has a pump, a uh, two and a half liter tank, which I keep empty, by the way. I would recommend you don't put leave stuff in there. I did leave it in there, and uh, well, there's a vent hole up here in the top that lets a vent which means you really want to hold it level, okay? Um, all kinds of cool things. I, th I think that there's some alignment buttons right here. I'm not sure what the world those are. But what you do is you take your LiPo battery. There's a gauge right here that tells you all about your battery length, and strength, whatever. Um, this is a XT60 connection point. Keep that in mind if you're going to order any additional batteries. You're going to go ahead and plug this in like so. And then with the wires that are in here, you kind of just want to finagle it in there one way or another and then shove all the battery wires in there just like so. 
lock it in there. And up here, this is your uh, on off button. So you can push it on and off. Now what's gonna happen is when I light this thing up, my dogs are going to go absolutely ape shit. Now, the wild thing is, I'm gonna do this in one take. There's a, I got that thing up there, and I hope like all oh, goodness it's catching what I'm putting down. I got this guy over here, which is gonna get the long one, and I got you right there. Microphones everywhere. All right, so let's talk about this. You got a two and a half liter uh, tank on this thing. It's all self-enclosed. You don't have a backpack, you don't have anything, you don't have propane bottles sticking off to the side. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And here's the thing, you can do a mixture of gas and or diesel, okay, napalm in other words. Um, I, at first, uh, used nothing but gasoline. And what that does, it just creates a huge plume. It's awesome, it's awesome by the way. But what I wanted was something a little more conducive to a you know, real style flamethrower, which is really cool. Okay, so. In my little safety can here, I have about a 60-40 split between gas 60% and diesel at 40%. I hate these new cans. I'm used to old school construction type with the, uh, what do you call it? Safety cans. Okay, um, so what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna fill this tank up because literally I don't wanna store it with fuel in it. I'm gonna show you how to clear it at the end. I'm gonna take this thing, push that in. And I like using a little funnel like this because I have a lot more control over what's going on. Maybe we pull that up a little bit. There we go. Come on now. I don't know if I should have this thing turned on or off while I'm doing this. You will know when you're running out of fuel because it will start shooting a shorter flame. And then uh, at that point, if you want to go ahead and clear it out, you just let it run out. Uh, the battery on this thing, I've never run a battery dry. And uh, let's see. Yeah, you can tell there's some good amount of fuel in there. That is a regular Ipsy target. In front of me, like I said, is a 30 foot between that oyster shell and here. And what I can do is actually, I can just, I'm going to show you. Once we turn this on, there is a... A voltage meter right here. Right now it says 12.3, the FTG NAR23. And like I said, what you want to do is it has to prime, okay? So we're gonna just do this, it's fun. Holy shit, okay, I think we're a little further. Oh, by the way, I do have, get out of there. I do have a, uh, a garden hose that's sitting right here. So with that, uh, yeah, this is 30 feet exactly. Well, there goes Randy. Don't die, Randy. The cool thing about it is it actually does throw flame. Let's do this. Woo! <laughs> My dog is going crazy. Uh, you really want to hold it level, and I evident, you know, obviously I've sprayed the grass down so it's nice and wet. Uh, now we're getting into the gas portion. But that's it. That's the amount of fuel we put in it, and it has already run through. And you can see the gas is running low now. There we go. <laughs> Oops, yard's on fire. All right, so now that it's running low, what we'll do is we'll just run it out, just like that. And for instance, I'm going to show you the, the zapper, right? If you've ever been hit with a body zapper, then you'll know. And like I said, you really want to hold it level. Otherwise, you know, you're going to have gas running out of it. You don't want to do that. That's it. Guys, I want you to take a look at this thing. 
that as cool as it can be. And there's your bolted. And man, what a fun time. Wow. Nasty. Anyway, 30 feet. Randy's a mess. And you guys knew how to fun. All right, I'm going to put the website down below. I'm going to use this on many videos going forward. But I just wanted you guys to see what this thing was all about. Man, again, big prayers to those guys out west. And uh, we'll end them like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for Freedom is freedom is not free. KB32, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.